Hello, Facebook, YouTube. Oh, oh, I, yep, it is a uh, Christ to the masses. Yes, Christ to the masses, y'all. Yep, Christ to the masses. Got a Christ to the masses message here. You know, I think it's a Christ to the masses message, but I, you know, maybe, maybe, but it has to has something to do with Mary, baby. You know, leaping. You know, making. You know, leap. You know. Elizabeth and stuff like that and Mary baby leap boom but the topic of this message has to do with the story of Zachariah Zacharias that's his name and the title of the message is spiritually shut up oh that doesn't sound like a Christmas message, but it's Christ to the masses message. You know, we're talking about the birth of Jesus Christ it, that's in Luke, you know, you, first of Luke, you know. Um, spiritually shut up. Now, I mean, you know, I love what they talk, they, they give this gene, genealogy of Elizabeth, you know, uh, that she's of the descendants of Aaron. Interesting. That's wow. That's powerful. Revelationary, you know, that she's of the descendants of Aaron. And you know, the thing is, it talks about, you know, Zacharias. Zacharias is, is uh, he's a pr priest uh, of the uh, a, pre uh, a priest that is in charge of the temple of the Lord. You know, he's he's there, you know, in the temple of the Lord. Now, all of a sudden, the archangel Gabriel, an angel, an archangel, an angel, that's what I want y'all to really get right there, is an angel that came from heaven, yeah. came up to Zacharias, you know, and told him that uh, he's going to have uh, a son named John, you know. And and all of a sudden, now now watch this. All this these events are taking place at the temple of the Lord. <laughs> yeah, could you in the temple of the Lord, you know, uh, Archangel Gabriel comes up to you know, how you doing? He comes up to um, uh, Zacharias and say, "You're gonna have like a baby son named John." And all of a sudden. Zacharias, you know, say, mm, no, that's, no, how, how, that's impossible for me to have a baby, you know, with, you know, Elizabeth. Yeah, he said it's impossible. Yeah. And what happens is the Bible says that, you know, uh, that, the, 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 that, that Zacharias' uh, mouth, uh, sh shut up his mouth he couldn't speak he, sh he couldn't talk you know read it study it uh, he couldn't talk he had to spiritually shut up now it's like whoa okay Mac what are you where are you going with this well let's look at Zachariah you know um hmm Zachariah in order to become a priest and and stuff like or Levi and stuff like that you gotta know your stuff I mean you gotta know the basic things about Jewish you know roots concerning Abraham yeah remember that guy Abraham the one that kind of said you know that God told him to have a child with Sarah and he was old and Abraham was old and I mean Sarah was old and Abraham was old and you know what I'm saying uh, to have a child with uh, her, with Sarah, and they, Sarah convinced him to have a baby with Hagar, and that was wrong. Remember that incident happening? You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I, I guess Zachariah kind of forgot, or must have forgot about that God that did the same re thing that he gave, you know, Sarah, a baby called Isaac, I think she he forgot about that. Hello, how you doing? You know, and the thing is, you know, um, 
Zachariah, you know, I mean, you know got amnesia. And the thing is, um, the problem is, <laughs> people go to church, you know. They go to church. And they, you know, they do their church thing and their religious duties and their, you know, uh, they, they, they pray and they, you know, uh, they praise God and they wear their, you know, clothes and suits and dresses and they praise God. And on Sunday, on, you know, not the Sabbath day, but Sunday, you know, um, they, they do these kind of things and they, uh, you know, on, and, and when the sun service is over, you know, they, you know, they go to the restaurants and they, I guess they eat dinner with their bunch, their bunch of the concerning their church, you know what I'm saying? I don't know about, you know, eating dinner with other people, members of, members of somebody's church, but they, you know, do their own thing, you know, and, you know, they, they, and, and it's like, they go through this, uh, let me see, ritual, to me, um, every, and then some of them maybe go to uh, Bible study, maybe they do, maybe not, or, you know, and they go for this, this ritual, religious, to me, cycle of uh, being a Christian, until all of a sudden, heaven <laughs> uh, comes and comes to you requesting something beyond their uh, premises concerning their relationship with God, or they have a relationship with God. But uh, they got this uh, re uh, uh, this relationship that you know, because this relationship, because I call it relationship, is about. Uh, trying to be a Christian in the flesh, yeah, yeah. You try to go be a Christian in the flesh and just practice rituals, and you know, and somehow you're gonna just become a Christian all of a sudden. And all of a sudden, God does this thing that's beyond your premises of your relationship with God, and you like, God, what, what, what? Why are you doing this? What's wrong with you? Why? What, what, why are you requesting something that's impossible within my flesh? Mm, wait a minute. Zachariah said he can't have no baby. Uh, Abraham said he can't have no baby. Did Zachariah read that story of Abraham and Sarah? Mm. Uh, or understand that story? <laughs> um, in the flesh, this is impossible for me to accomplish. Oh, heaven, send somebody. Send Gabriel, I don't know. Send, send a word to somebody else. God told you to do this. God told you to do that. And no, they didn't really want or have a desire. Or they didn't hear from God to do it. They didn't hear the voice of God. They say, oh, I didn't hear the voice of God to do something that I'm really supposed to be doing according to the word of God. <laughs> yeah, they need their word from the Lord. You know, the word from the lips of God to tell them to do something that uh, I think the Bible says that we're supposed to be practical to do. You know, you need a word of the Lord to feed the hungry. Oh, uh, you need a word of the Lord to, you know, uh, do ministry outreach to uh, the communities, you need a word from the Lord. Yes, yes, you do need a word from the Lord. Don't get me wrong, you know. But the thing is, by faith, you're supposed to be doing that anyway, you know. But, you know, the thing is, it's just that, you know, now the religious, you know, system of this church uh, world, uh, they feel that they're supposed to be doing their own thing concerning their own agenda and own stuff at their own building that they call a church, you know. Um, but the Bible talks about, you know, us operating in unity. You know, every unity, a body of unity that's you can't put really God in a building. You know, I tell people, you know, that uh, people used to go to the uh, church, the temple of Israel. Uh, they don't go into the temple. They can't go in the temple. Only the priests can go in the temple. They they can't go in the temple, but they give a sacrifice unto God. And and when they gave a sacrifice unto God, they went out 
the temple. They went out the temple. Because the thing is, when something God establishes, it's supposed to be out, getting out, you know, out and about. You know what I'm saying? It's not supposed to be dwelling in some place, but it's supposed to go out places and out in other places and help spread out to other places in places of other places. Okay. But, you know, you know, they kind of, people kind of, you know, the church, religious churches, and trying to ignoring that reality. But guess what? Because they're ignoring that reality, a spiritual silence is going to happen. Somebody's going to spiritually shut up very soon. <laughs> very soon. Because judgment day is coming upon the church that I'm trying to tell people that uh, from heaven, from heaven, the angel from heaven, Gabriel came down and spoke to Zechariah. And Zechariah supposed to have said spiritually, duh, of course you can have a baby, you know, uh, from your wife, according to heaven, duh. Just like, you know, Abraham, Sarah, duh. Bam, he put spiritual duh, you know, but he did not do that. He's like, how am I going to have a baby? And what happened is, you know, the angel shut him up. And all of a sudden, until the baby, until the baby come in, the Bible said that when uh, John gave birth, uh, Zacharias mouth open. And here's the cool part I like about this. The, the Bible said the Holy Ghost spoke through Zacharias and all of a sudden uh, Zacharias was prophesying in the Holy Ghost. Now watch what's the cool part about this. Uh, the Holy Ghost didn't come yet. <laughs> the Holy Ghost didn't come in before the day of Pentecost. Uh, Zacharias was speaking in the Holy Ghost. <laughs> That's awesome about the prophecy of, you know, of the end, new of 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 of, of the end time, you know, uh, Messiah. That's the Messiah that's going to come in the end time. But that's another teacher. Um, the thing is, you know, he prophesied. But here's the thing. Why does God have to spiritually shut our mouths? Yeah, yeah I'm going to focus on that. Why does he got to spiritually shut our mouths? You know why? Because here's the thing about a Pharisee. Pharisees don't understand the heart language. They don't under they they like what Jesus says, they out of the lips, they you know, they blah 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 blah. But, but their heart is so far from them because they don't perform the word of God within their hearts. They don't do the word of God according to the scriptures. They don't uh, uh pro prophet prop perform the things they don't they they show you that they holy amongst like uh jesus talked about them in uh matthews 23 that you know that they you know they show you works that you know they're doing something but you know but they're doing works of holy you know the holy spirit spiritual thing and shouting and then in front of you but you know really when it comes to the work the true work of the things of god Outside the church, you don't hardly see anything going on. You know, in the communities, you know, you know, the place where it's really needed. You know? Yes, I think that the church, the, the gospel of Jesus Christ is definitely needed among the communities. You don't see less. You see so much less community. Like I tell people, uh, could we grade the church of its less community uh, 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 missions works? To show them if they really truly are about the mission of the gospel of Jesus Christ, uh, they will probably get an F. Yes, because uh, the newspaper says that because there's so much negativity going on in the streets. It's ridiculous. But nobody, everybody's playing. They're silent. They're naturally silent. But guess what? God is going to bring a judgment that's going to make people spiritually silent because of what they're doing and because they don't understand about heaven heaven's agenda they're busy creating their earth agenda and not heaven's agenda so heaven has to bring correction to the church and everybody else all right that's the message uh get ready for the spiritual silence because it's going to happen very soon all right to god be the glory here forever and ever in jesus name amen